here we are. Yeah. All right, the Texoma Oklahoma champion, the stone that doesn't crumble, has a chance tonight to become a two-time Red River champion as he takes on the baddest of all time, the lion in the jungle, Shane Taylor, here at the Sherman Elks Lodge. And Stone coming in with gold of his own, looking to add more gold to it, but he has quite a task in front of him. By way of this man, the man who has been unbeatable since his return, draped in gold, the baddest of all time, the Lion in the Jungle, Shane Taylor. All right, let's take it down to the lovely Anna Lynn for our championship introductions. got a microphone what's going on here Robert Langdon here making this officially a match for the Red River Championship here we go Ed Stone could go home with two titles tonight Referee MJ Bell showing that beautiful title off to the crowd here at the Texoma Faithful at uh, the Sherman Elks Lodge in Sherman, Texas. I would love to hold that title one day. I'm sure you would, Malik. And you know what? With as bright a future as you are, I'm sure it's going to happen eventually. And here we go. We are underway. The baddest of all time, the belt bully Shane Taylor. Defending his Red River title against Edge Stone and Anna, you are very familiar with both of these gentlemen. Who has the edge here? No pun intended. Um, you know they're both very strong competitors, but Shane has come in, and since I've been here, he has been a force to reckon with. And honestly, I think he's going to keep that belt tonight. Shane Taylor has been plowing through everyone that stood up against him since his return. Mm -hmm. 
Ed Stone was at one time a very dominant Red River champion in his own right, trying to regain that title, trying to become the first ever two-time Red River champion here tonight, but he has quite a challenge in front of him in the baddest of all time, Shane Taylor. These two measuring each other. Collar and elbow lockup. Who's gonna have the upper hand here? Surprisingly, Shane, oh, I thought he was pushing Edge back. Edge fighting back though. Look at the, the physique on Edge Stone here, Malik. An accomplished wrestler, champion everywhere he's gone. Also an accomplished personal trainer and bodybuilder. He's actually training for a huge bodybuilding competition. You think he can add more gold along with this trophy coming up? Oh, I believe it. Have you not seen his videos? Look at this guy. He looks like he's carved out of stone. Stone don't crumble. He looks, it, and it look, he looks like The Rock's little brother. Look at him. <laughs> I hear that a lot about him. Oh, oh, barely missing that right, that left hand from Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor is one of the most deadly strikers in pro wrestling. Oh, shot to the gut, just like that. Calculated shot, too, right to the spleen. Into the ropes, and nobody moving with that shoulder tackle there. Both men standing their ground. Look at the strength. Who's going to falter first, Malik? I feel like Edge is going to fall first. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. You're calling it. Shane Taylor's a big guy. Yeah, yeah, but look at Edge, though. Oh, nothing doing either way. Shane wobbled a little bit. Look at this, Anna. This is like the, the, the legit immovable object versus the irresistible force. Absolutely. The thing about it, too, is both of them are absolutely strong competitors. But the thing that I feel like Shane has that Edgestone doesn't is Shane is absolutely ruthless and will always do whatever it takes to keep those belts. That's why he's got so many of them. Shane is not a good guy or a bad guy. He's no. a champion. He's a champion, absolutely. And he will do whatever it takes to keep and get those championships. And he's a fighter. And the, one of the crazy things about him, if you followed his career, he can do a lot of the crazy stuff. He can do cannonball dives. He can do flips. I've even seen him bust out a moonsault. Whoa. But as he's come along, he's, he's figured out that he can accomplish just as much just by using his fists. And at this point in his career, Shane Taylor would rather walk right up to you and punch you in the mouth than grab a hold. No games there. Straight to it. Into the ropes. Oh, mm -hmm. Edge caught him. Had it scouted. Duck underneath, though. Oh, big boot to the face, and out goes Shane Taylor. Still didn't leave his feet. Very good call, Malik. Not off his feet, though. What's Edge doing here, though? What's he doing? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, faked him out. Oh, up and over. What's he's he doing? He's crouching, he's measuring him. Oh, oh, big running knee, and that sent him off his feet, Malik. Hey, I take my faults. I said Edge Stone was going to go down first. Oh, uh, you did. You did. You called it. Can Edge beat the odds tonight and leave with two titles? Big right hand. You don't really see Shane staggered that much. Oh, and a shot to the apron, which we all know is the hardest part of the ring. Helps him back inside. Stone tight measuring him. Oh, big right hand there. Oh, followed by a thrust kick. Edge has him rocking. This is what you got to do, big guy. Oh, there's no way he's going to get him up. Yeah, see, there we go. Shane's blocking it. There's no way. There's no way, Anna. Look at this. He's a big guy. Shane's an extra thick boy. See what I mean? Oh, up wow. Oh, but Edge up and over. Kick to the gut. He's measuring him. Ducks on her. Oh, oh, what a solid clothesline. That sounded like a two by four smacking him in the chest. That momentum stopped. Stopped completely. <laughs> All momentum stopped. Halted. That was like a Louisville slugger to his chest, bro. That was one of those welcome to the big league shots right there, man. Absolutely. You notice how long it's taken Edge to get up here, Malik? Oh, he just got hit by a semi truck. What do you mean? <laughs> Seriously. I mean. Did anyone get the license plate on that Mack truck? <laughs> oh, he's measuring him. This is not good. Oh! oh! Oh my gosh. That hurt. I think Edge's grandchildren felt that. Oh, yeah. Maybe his, even his great grandchildren. That Mal was. Malik is still grimacing over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I felt it. Look at Edge. He can't even get back up to his feet. 
Oh, a big right hand. He's fighting his way out of it. Oh, but Shane going to the throat. See what I mean? Shane doesn't care about the rules. He just wants no. to win. This this isn't a wrestling match to Shane Taylor. This is a fight. Like I said, he's ruthless. He oh, has his eyes on the prize, and that's all he sees when he gets in this ring. Did I just see a tooth go flying, Malik? Is it? Maybe. Let's hope not, though. Shane, the stone crumbled a little bit. Shane's from the east side of Cleveland, man. I don't know if he crumbled. Maybe a little chip flew off. I don't think he crumbled, though. Shane's from the east side of Cleveland, man. He fought for his life every day growing up. This is nothing new for him. This is Honestly, this is probably a light work for Shane Taylor. Oh! oh. Just looking a little tired. Yeah, all that weight down on the lower back. Oh. All those vertebrae. All, oh! There's that fire. Yeah, that defiant, that defiant fire from Ed Stone. He's not going to go down without a fight. That That's for sure. Shane's making a bad decision, turning around. Oh, you know, Shane has quite an interesting relationship with the Texoma faithful here. I think it's a love-hate relationship because they love to hate him. And uh, he loves to hate him right back. Oh, Ed's trying to fight back, but Shane with that knee to the stomach. I think the theme of this match, and you made a good point, Anna, has been halting momentum because mm -hmm. Edge will get something going, and then just like that. Yeah. <laughs> just like that, back to the ground. But we see the determination because he keeps getting back up, and he keeps giving Shane all he's got over and over. Well, he wants to leave here the champ champ, you know? He wants to be the... In Red River Wrestling, the Oklahoma title, that's the, the secondary title. The main title is the Red River title. Now, I'm not trying to downplay it. Anytime you have gold around your waist, you're a champion. That's yeah. a big deal. But Edge wants to win with, he wants to leave with the, the two big singles titles in the company. And who would blame him? That's the thing. You're not even getting one or the other. You're going to, he's fighting for both of them right now. He wants a double payday, and I don't blame him, man. Mm. I don't blame him at all. And just being able to take out Shane Taylor, that's a big triumph in itself. Oh, that's resume material right there. This guy's gone everywhere and done everything. Just being able to hang with the Bell Bully is an accomplishment. Oh. Oh, and back down on the lower back yet again. Shane's just punishing him at this point. What do you do if you're Edge Stone, Malik? How do you get this momentum turned back around? And if you say take out his legs again... <laughs> Take him out. <laughs> He's he already down low. The there we go. Take out the legs. Nice change in pace there, Malik. I was worried you were going to say take out the legs again, but you said take out the legs, so. <laughs> wonder if he's going to take out the legs, guys. I mean, he's down there. He's yeah. down there. Oh, he's you're down there. Right there. Oh, but look at Shane just smacking. Oh. oh. Oh, but he wants to give it right back to Shane the way Shane's been giving it to him. Big right hand and a big forearm. Edge just throwing everything at him. Trying again. Something's got to give. Oh, ducking underneath. Beautiful oh. DDT, and that could be it. That could be the momentum shift he was looking for, and for the first time in a minute. He's got to get back up. The baddest man on the planet is back on his back, mm -hmm. looking at the lights. He didn't take out the legs, but he did a good job. Mike Bell administering the 10 count. Shout out to our buddy Mike Bell, about to go on a tour of Japan. I am so happy for that dude. That's that dude. Shout out to the homie. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're at a five count here. Both men back up to their feet. Oh, oh beautiful momentum from Edge. He's got to stay on him. Oh, one more time. Huge splash in the corner. Following up. What's he doing? Front oh, chancery. Oh, no. He's trying again. This has been an ongoing struggle trying to suplex Shane Taylor. Oh, beautiful rising knee, though. That oh, he's got oh. him up! Samoan drop! Oh. Cover him, Edge. Can he cover him? He's trying to roll the big man over. One, two. Oh. Just a two count. And we are that close to a two-time Red River champion. I thought he had him there for a second. Look at Edge, though, grasping at his arm and screaming and writhing in pain. And now he's holding that side, too. Brushing all the pain off, getting back to his feet, going right back at Shane Taylor. He wants that title. He wants to go home with this beautiful belt tonight. 
That is beautiful. Oh, what a headbutt! Oh. What an emphatic, almost defiant headbutt from Ed Stone. See, Ed Stone made a uh, mistake right there. I was like, I don't know if that's a good decision. Never it, use your head like that. It's. Uh, I think it almost hurt him as much as it hurt yeah. Shane. Oh! oh. Cover him. One, two. Oh. Just a two count. I thought we had it. Shane coming back wow. with just as heavy of a headbutt. And Edge kicking out just in time. See, Shane's in, uh, Shane's in a bad situation right now. Edge Stone has nothing to lose. Shane Taylor has a title to lose. That's exactly true. Edge is going home with his gold no matter what happens. That is an excellent point. Oh, what's going on here? He's measuring him. Shane, go. we don't see this that often from Shane Taylor. He's going deep in the playbook here. Oh, but Edge trying to fight him off. Oh. oh, and Shane goes falling, tumbling down to the middle of the canvas. They have to be careful on these ropes. Edge measuring. You, that's a recurring team with you, Malik. Hey, I'd, I'd be pretty nervous about that, too. Oh, what a T-bone suplex, though. Stormbreaker, if you will. Oh, he's measuring him. We've seen this before. There's oh. that big knee. That's oh. how he finished Mr. Wobble. I think that might be One, it. two. Oh, and he kicked oh, out. My. We've seen Shane Taylor put away so many opponents with it. And Edge Stone just kicked out. Look at Shane. Look at the disbelief in his face. What does he have to do to put Edge Stone away? One thing about Edge Stone right now, he is fighting, and you cannot take that away from him. He's doing everything he can to try and take down Shane Taylor. He's not going to give up. You heard Shane, though. He had one of those Denzel, okay, all right moments. Oh, bringing up family. That's a sure way to get Edge fired up. Oh, oh and there's that there suplex. Is. That emotion put him over the top. One, two, just a two count. What is it going to take? Shane Taylor gloating, being proud of himself, bringing Edge's family into it, and that sent Edge over the top, over the edge, if you will. He's measuring him. Yeah, here you go. You hear Edge talking. He took exception to that. Oh, but Shane catching him. Roll through. Oh, and there's that knee again. He followed him up with it. Oh, and a headbutt. Edge is staggered. Oh, and there's that discus forearm. That's it. One, two, three. You can count to 100. It is over, folks. What a dominant performance by Shane Taylor yet again, going through all competition. You set him up and he'll knock him down. Shane Taylor is still your Red River heavyweight champion.